Childer. Does photography work now with a USB power solution? Yep. What about in burst mode? Oh yeah, BT dubs. That was the highest quality JPEG plus raw. How about time lapses? Looks good. To make this work, go into your menu, make sure you're in the photography tab, go down to silent mode, make sure it's off, make sure your shutter is set to electronic shutter, and there you go. Done, roll that intro. What's up everybody? You are watching Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we are constantly and always still learning. So a couple months ago, I reviewed a USB powered solution, which allows you to power your GH5, GH4 with a USB power bank solution. But one of the things that did not work was photography. And of course, some people that love to do time lapses, and obviously if they have to do an event photography, they were kind of bummed that it didn't work. And me too as well. I'm not a big photographer, obviously, but you know, time lapses, when you're looking at Breaking Bad, they used a lot of time lapse video to show the passage of time so on and so forth and it was just a feature that I wish would actually work and thanks to all your comments that you've been leaving down in all my videos I've had a couple conversations with people and we basically agreed that there's something weird in terms of the buck converters ability to shoot enough power to the GH5 camera when it wants to take a picture and upon closer inspection, when I looked at the official Panasonic AC battery uh, solution, basically it says it can output up to 2.5 amps at 8.4 volts. Now the voltage is not the problem. The buck converter is able to give out 8.7, so we're fine there. But that 0.5 difference in the amp might actually do it. Now, in the solution, we basically had to change our camera to the electronic shutter instead of the mechanical shutter. And that totally makes sense. The mechanical shutter is definitely gonna need more power than an electronic shutter. But is it really 0.5 amps worth? Apparently so. So this fix, you basically have to go into your photography, settings, not your video settings, but your photography settings, turn your silent mode off, then change the shutter to electronic shutter, and then you can take pictures. And then if you go to silent mode, you can still take pictures. If your silent mode is off and you have it on mechanical shutter, but then you change it to the silent mode on, you can't take photos. So this is like very, very specific in terms of how you have to do it. Now, one thing that I found later on when I had to shoot a four hour event was I wanted to grab a custom white balance. And when I went to go get the custom white balance with a USB power solution on, it didn't work. And I was like, whoa, this is not good. But good thing I had some batteries. So I popped in a battery, got the white balance, took it back out, and then proceeded to shoot the entire four hour event with my USB powered solution. So here's the fix for that. Again, you have to go into photography mode and you have to make sure that you're set to electronic shutter, uh, electronic shutter. And then when you go back into video mode, you have to be on silent mode in order to take a white balance. So this is obviously very cumbersome in certain ways because I'm sure there's an advantage between taking a mechanical shutter picture versus an electronic shutter picture. All you photography people out there probably can tell me what that is. If uh, Leave it down in the comments below and let me know. So basically, these are the things you have to do to make sure you can do time lapses, photography, and apparently taking a custom white balance in with the USB powered solution. Now, where can we go from here? Well, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna email the company that makes this adapter and ask them, hey, is it any way possible that you can update the circuitry in the buck converter so that it allows 2.5 amps of current through instead of 2.0? And if they can do that, then I, I'm gonna guess that everything should work because if the official power brick needs these specifications, then I'm going to guess that 
changing and updating the buck converter should fix these problems. Now, if that is the case, then it is super important that you get this anchor with a three amp output from the USB power, uh, from the USB power port, because again, you need to make sure you don't dip under what it needs. However, we did have another conversation and that USB power is usually regulated somehow in terms of how the chip inside is working. And it could also be a potential problem. Now, I don't know yet until they you know, update the circuitry and I give it a test, but I'm going to say, because the buck converter is the one that's kind of sort of talking to this thing and saying, hey, I need power, I need power, I need power, then I'm going to guess that the smart chip inside here probably will just keep giving power to the buck converter so that it does its thing. Again, we don't know that until we give it a try. So what's the bottom line here? The bottom line is, hey, we now have a USB powered solution that allows us to do photography, videography, and time lapses with our GH5s. Now, I have not personally tested how long the time lapse can actually go um, because I don't really do time lapses all that often. The longest one I did was 15 minutes. But if I had to guess how long this would actually work, I'll have to probably go back to the results of my very first test with the battery power bank. In that test, I left the camera on the entire time and recorded maybe about an hour and a half of footage and the battery lasted almost seven hours. So I'm gonna guess very conservatively in that this battery bank is gonna give you a six hour time lapse approximately. I would even go as low as, as saying five hours. So if you do do these time lapses up to five to six hours, um, I would please upload them. I would love to see what a time lapse looks like from that duration of time. And you know, let us know how well the power bank actually worked for you in that situation. And hey, if this video has made all the difference in your purchasing decision and going with a USB power bank solution, I would really appreciate it if you use my Amazon affiliate links down below. It costs nothing extra to you. It just gives me a little compensation so I can continue making videos like this for you. And lastly, please keep commenting down in the comment section below. Without your guys' help, we would have never figured out that maybe it was a power problem with this camera and USB power solution. So keep doing that, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.